Katie Allison from Starliner Music. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to continue with my fingerboard geometry series. We're going to be covering arpeggios from the fourth and third string in first inversion. First, we'll look at fingerings and then we'll do some exercises. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it. All right, fingerings for first inversion triads from the fourth and third string. Again, first inversion means that the third is the lowest sounding note. Therefore, if I'm starting the arpeggio on the fourth string, my root will be on the third string. Let's look at that at the fifth fret. Here is my root C. That is on the third string. Therefore, my lowest sounding note will be the third E. So here is a first inversion triad from the fourth string. Third, fifth, root. So that's a C major. Now let's do the minor version. So we will just lower the third and this will be C minor. And we lower the fifth to make it diminished. In order to get an idea how these arpeggios look within a key, let's try a harmonized scale. I'm going to do the key of A, and we'll be playing the A harmonized scale from the fourth string and then from the third string. Since I want to start within the first few frets, I'm not going to be starting on the one chord. From the fourth string, I will start from the three chord C sharp minor. So here's the C sharp minor arpeggio. Minor third, fifth, and here's the root C sharp. From here, I would continue up the scale to the four chord. Here's D, that's its third, fifth, and here's the root D. And then from the four chord to the five chord, etc. Now, when I get to the third string, I will also start around the same fret area. In this case, Instead of starting on the one chord, I will be starting on the six chord. So the six chord is F sharp minor and I'll be starting on its third. Notice how I have quite the stretch here. I've got tuning adjustment, so that's the six chord. After the six chord, I would move on to the seventh chord. It's G sharp diminished, etc., to the one chord and then continuing up the harmonized scale. Here we go. Now I'll be demonstrating an exercise out of the exercises portion of the PDF that goes along with this video. I've chosen the exercise in the key of B flat, so we'll be playing the B flat harmonized scale from the fourth string and then from the third string. From the fourth string, we can play the scale from the one chord B flat because we can use the open D. That is the third of our B flat chord. So the arpeggio will look like this. So we'll continue up the scale to the two chord, etc. When we move on to the third string, the most logical place to start our harmonized scale will be on the four chord. That is the E flat. In this case, we will also be able to use our open string 
this case, it's a G string. So that's the third of our E flat, and then here's the fifth and the root. So that's our four chord in the key, and then we would move on to the five chord, F, continuing on up the scale. Let's get a look. That's it for arpeggios from the fourth and third string in first inversion. I'm Kimberly Allison from Starlander Music, and I hope to see you back on my channel soon.